Good morning, Kettering Captains. I'm Carson Ungard. And I'm Ashley Sams. Today is Friday, November 2nd, and we are coming to you live from Studio 304A with your daily announcements. We are sorry for the confusion with the first show. We were experiencing technical difficulties. Cupcake Friday is back, and they are featuring a new cupcake, cookie dough. They are chocolate cupcakes with a delicious chocolate chip cookie dough middle. Be sure to get one in room 507 for only a dollar. Did you get one of these at lunch? Yeah, I did. It was really good. Yeah, I had one too. I like how they put the cookie dough in the middle as well. It was really good. Yeah, it was. Tomorrow, Kettering will be holding its 33rd annual craft show from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you have any questions, you can contact Colleen Birch at cmbirch at att.net or 248-623-7173. Last week, the robotics team competed at Kettering. Novia Burreal was there, and she got us a look into how robotics teams compete. Last Thursday, October 25th, the captain's robotics team competed in a robotics tournament in our very own Kettering High School South Gym. Before the competition began, team members gave their robot a final tune-up to prepare for the task ahead. However, it is not uncommon for students to be seen working on multiple robots throughout the year. We have our own teams designed for the robots, so we have a chassis team, arm team, uh, programming, electrical, we have every team, and if something goes wrong with that part of the robot, that's what they fix. Keep that weapon in the motor. Oh god! It's like gonna hit someone. Um. Yeah, we had some, you know, dumb problems this week, uh, but the design itself is, is awesome. Unfortunately, Kettering's robot had some issues, so the team attempted to make repairs while the competition continued. Four, three, two, one! You know, our, our robot is actually very complicated. Uh, and it's very uh, well designed. It just needs to be refined. Uh, you know, like they say, you tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak until you make it better. We're 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 right on that cuff of getting really good. Thanks, Novia. Taylor Burry, Taylor Burry caught up with a few students to find out about the outcome of the blood drive. <laughs> Hi, I'm Taylor Burry here with Mark and Torres about the outcome of the blood drive. Why did you participate in the blood drive? Um, because I feel like. The blood of that just sitting in my body isn't any good just sitting there, so I feel the need to give to someone who actually needs it. How does it feel to know you're donating blood to someone that is in need? It gives me a sense of fulfillment, knowing I did my part by just laying there and letting them take it. Yeah. How do you feel about the outcome of the blood drive went? Um, I feel like it went really well. I feel like they got a lot of blood to donate to other people that need it and it just went really well. Now I'm here with Levi. How do you feel that the outcome of the blood drive went? Um, I think it was a real success. We didn't really have a lot of problems. Everything went real smooth. We only needed uh, 66 donors to meet our goal, and we got well over 90. Okay, thank you. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Taylor. Now on to sports. Today and tomorrow, our swim teams will be competing in the KLAA competitions at the Mop Pool. Good luck, swimmers. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. I'm Ashley Sams. And I'm Carson Ungard. Have a great weekend, Captains.